Hey guys, how's everyone doing? In this video, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. I'm actually going to be re-reviewing something I've already shown you before. Uh, the reason being just because now that I have a better camera, I'm now able to show you guys the little bits of detail and stuff like that that uh, I've always wanted to, and um, my old camera couldn't do that. So now that we're able to do that with this camera that I have now, I'm able to show you things a lot better and uh, have you guys uh, look at it and help you guys decide uh, whether or not you want to buy something or not. So anyways, in this review, we're not taking a look at so much at the Gundam Exia itself, but we're taking a look at its accessory parts, the Robot Damashi R2 repair parts. And a uh, really, really neat figure. I think everybody can agree this is a, already an instant classic. So anyways, we're going to be showing how it comes in the mail and taking out all the parts and showing everything it comes with and then uh, putting it together and showing you the figure from there on in. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so depending whether or not you buy it from eBay or any other online store, you're pretty much going to get all your parts in a box like this made out of cardboard and having a plain uh, robot <laughs> title on the, on the front there. Um, anyways, it's what's inside that counts, and once you crack it open, you'll get a smaller box like this, a nice little robot black and white, or robot damashi black and white box. Uh, on the front, you'll see the uh, R2 fully complete and everything. On the side, in highlighted in white and uh, a little bit in, uh, in gray, you're going to see all the parts you're going to get for the uh, upper, lower legs, the uh, shoulders, a little bit of the chest, the arms, they don't show the GN sword, but you know you get it. Uh, on the back, you're going to get a lot of Japanese writing. On the side, nothing. And on the top, just Robot Damashi. Um, so now, let's go ahead and crack this box open and see all the parts that you will get. Before really taking out the parts, though, you're going to want to pull out the instruction sheet. It's going to be in a little baggie like that. Uh, nothing too complicated. It's a simple one sheet uh, instruction. Uh, instructions just telling you what exactly you're pulling off the Gundam um, or the original Gundam Exia and uh, what you're keeping. Uh, it also shows you that you can still use two GM, uh, GN beam sabers to connect them to the side uh, just like in the show and uh, it's just pretty much simple and straightforward instruction sheet. So now that that's out of the way we can really get to the parts and let's go ahead and take these out. And so, if everything taken out of the box, this is everything you're going to get. Uh, you're going to get two lower parts, as stated before, uh, for the legs. Some upper parts for the legs, again. Uh, completely new arms and shoulders and, and uh, chest armor right there. Uh, a completely new back piece for the skirt armor. And, of course, the thing that makes the R2 stand out so much, the GN Sword Kai. And this is pretty much just an improved version over the uh, GN sword that the Exia already has, except now this one's made out of uh, GN condenser material. So it makes it a lot stronger, a lot sharper, and uh, overall a lot cooler. So with all the parts being shown, now it's time to put everything together. And so, if everything put back onto the Exia, we now have the Exia R2 uh, unit, I guess you can say. Um, from afar, he looks nothing really different from the original Exia, except for the obvious uh, filled-in armor on the upper legs. Uh, but it's really in the small detail that makes this figure uh, stand out uh, from the original Exia. Taking a closer look, you can see that the ports on the back where the GN beam sabers would be stored are uh, no longer there. In fact, here's the piece right here. You no longer get those. And that also is uh, can be said, said the same for the back skirt of the Exia. Here we have the original back skirt. It's no longer there. It's now filled in and a lot smoother looking. Um, 
Taking a look at the lower legs, you can see that now it has some sort of nozzle thrusters on the back of the calves. Uh, taking a look at the original legs, you can see that they never had that to begin with. So, yeah. Overall, it's uh, supposed to be an improvement, I guess, in speed and in armor. And uh, it definitely comes across that way. But uh, we haven't added the most important part yet, and that is the GN Sword Kai. So let's go ahead and see how that's put together. Okay, so borrowing parts again from the original Axia, we're going to take the GN Sword and uh, pull it apart from the shield portion. Oops. If it goes flying, don't worry about that. Go ahead and put the original GN Sword to the side and take out the GN Sword Kai. And put two and two together. Now you have the GN Sword Kai. A lot shorter than the original GN Sword, but honestly, it's still a lot cooler. It's it's uh, the green material. You can really see through it very, very well. In fact, you can see it on the camera. Uh, you can see all the little detail in the back. Um, sometimes you will get a little bit of a, a warping on the green, green material, but I didn't have that with this set. But um, overall, it's a really cool sword. So let's go ahead and put that on him. And so, with his GN sword in hand, he's now ready for action. The Gundam XA Repair 2 complete and fully in all his glory. Um, overall, it's a generally nice figure. And if you're a fan of Gundam 00 or a fan of just the Robot Damashi toy line in general, um, you shouldn't be disappointed by this, even though there aren't really um, big changes, rather um, just subtle changes. But uh, overall, the, the design and everything is carried out fully in this figure. Nothing stylized or anything like that that we've been getting lately with the Robot Damashi line. Um, this is an older um, exclusive set, so you're not going to get that. But in general, it's still um, a really, really fabulous figure. But uh, with that being said, unfortunately, it is going to uh, cost you a little bit of money. So uh, now let's go ahead and move on to the price tag for this guy. And what a price tag it is. This box set, or I'm sorry, repair parts, can actually cost somebody anywhere between $50 to $60, depending on who you get it from on eBay or any other online store. Um, if I had to suggest, always go with eBay. Um, not only do you get the uh, protection of what eBay gives uh, all its sellers, but you get a better chance of getting this at a better deal. Um, that being said, you could also probably find this uh, Exia figure and the repair parts in a lot. And if you don't have the Exia, you can generally save money that way. So that's going to cost you anywhere between 90 to 120 not including shipping. So all in all, it's a very expensive um, uh, exclusive parts um, and you only get you know so little but um, again if you're a big fan of Gundam Double O or just the Robot Damashi toy line in general you shouldn't be disappointed and even if you aren't and you buy this for a you know pretty high price um, once you crack the thing open and you put everything together with the figure that buyer's remorse should lessen over uh, you know a little bit of time so anyways, that's been my review. Hope you guys enjoyed me revisiting this figure. And if you guys want to see anything that I've done in the past or want to see something new that I might have and haven't done yet, um, feel free to message me or leave a comment. And with that being said, everybody take care. Bye-bye.